so hey you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm so excited to show you my new um color pop brow kit not brow kit what the hell am i talking about my brow color and my brow um pencil i'm gonna be showing you like a little not review but just like a first impression because i literally just got it today and i was like i need to get this up and show you guys it so i have it both in my both um brow obviously which is why they look so fucked up right now because i my brow pencil on this side and then I use the brow pomade thing on this side which is why it looks super darker so right from the bed I got it in the same color and the color dope taupe these are, these are five dollars you can find this at colourpop.com that's a website that sells very super affordable um, makeup lipsticks and things like that um, and now they're doing brow products so I got myself couldn't go wrong with that right so let's go on and show you guys the demo. So I wanted to start by showing you first a little overview on how the product came on the packaging, which is the regular packaging for ColourPop, I believe. It's like this little white box thing. So this specifically one is the gel pot. I don't know if it's the gel pot or brow pot. I think that's what it's called. Um, and I got it in dope taupe. You get a 3.0, I believe, a gram of product. Um, which I think it's pretty good amount for six dollars, which is the retail price for this. I think it's fantastic for the price. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks. Basic, you know, type little smudge pot. It's travel friendly, super small. When you open it, this is what you get. Uh, the product that's how, that's how the one taupe dope looks i did use it a little bit which is why it has a little smut there and then i wanted to show you the brow pencil which is um the brow pencil obviously <laughs> but this is the again the packaging that's how it looks normal packaging of ColourPop. I thing is the same one as always when you take it out of the packaging that's how it looks it's double-sided which you know means i brings a spoolie on one side and the retractable pencil on the other side uh the spoolie it's amazing especially for coarse hairs like mine i really really liked it but you'll see why i didn't like about it um but for now i did like the spoolie for uh coarse hair it brings a little cap so you could you know maintain your things close and also this um their retractable pencil you cannot take out you could take out but you cannot put it back in if that makes any sense i don't know like unretractable is that's what it's called i'm not sure but i hope you guys understand what i'm saying like i cannot put it back in if you took out the product it cannot go back in so be careful how much you take out because you know it'll probably end up drying or something i did not like that about the packaging so here i'm just going to show you a little demo on how i applied it on my fucked up brows i really have bad brows guys which is why i don't show you any brow tutorials because i'm just horrible at it but i'm just showing you here how the brow um top dope looks on my brow my brows are super dark i have very coarse brow hair and yeah it's kind of hard to work with this um the the pencil itself is super super like smooth it goes on super super nice guys it's nothing hard to work with i honestly don't like pencils but this one was super super nice to work with because it just glide on so smoothly but i don't know i used it to go to the gym i i i know this is the first impression thing but i did use it to go to the gym i don't know why i just wanted to you know test it out when i got it i was like i need to test this out right now so i took it to the gym and this pencil side um literally just like faded away it did not stay on my brows which i was gonna like eh, but whatever you know this was my first time using it i'm gonna keep trying to see how it works because honestly i don't want to bash it but that is how i feel about it as of now when i tried it to go to the gym so yeah so on to the brow pot now it go on so smoothly i love how smooth they go on it's super super easy kind of to work with but then again it's super super hard to work with i don't know if you kind of understand what i mean but um you could go either or like you're gonna like it or you're gonna hate it that's how i think it's gonna go for coarse hair again i don't think this product is gonna be best for coarse hair i really didn't like it on my coarse hair i just felt like it's super unnatural it doesn't look good or maybe i just don't know how to do brows i don't know what the fuck is it i just didn't fucking like it i'm so used to my anastasia Be beverly hill brow pomade that i fucking love that it blend in with my coarse hair so fucking nicely but again this product just doesn't i don't know i just don't seem to like it, it just doesn't look good on my coarse hair i don't think it blends in super nicely and again i don't know the wear of it as of yet but i don't think this you know stay on your brow for the whole entire day because me going to the gym a couple of hours it kind of was smudging already and guys i will leave you my honest honest 
opinion on my description box, kind of like in a little update I will do there. So you guys can kind of keep update. Uh, I can keep you guys updated on how I have been, you know, using this or how I have liked it and things like that. But for now, this is not my favorite. This is just not. I mean, it's five dollars, so you can't go wrong. But I will rather pay my extra bucks, and I'm a, I'm a cheap ass fucking person, guys. I'm cheap as fuck. But when it comes to my brows, hell motherfucking no. Like, I'd rather go up and, you know, spend my extra money and go with Anastasia Beverly Hills. But that's just my personal opinion now. Maybe later I'll change. I'll find out, figure it out, a way to, you know, use it uh, better. But for now, it's not, it's not hitting my spot.